I come back here clean, sober, in the very best damn shape of my life. And for the very first time in my entire life, I can finally admit after 34 years that I am not alone. Welcome back to TMZ Sports. I am Mojo Mutati, and I'm very excited, very proud, very honored to say that I have my good friend, professional wrestling superstar, William Morrissey, on the show to join us today. We've been buddies for a shoot about 10 years nine, now. And nine or 10, yeah, crazy. Yeah, coming yeah. in at about a decade, and just to see your, your story over the past decade has been absolutely incredible kind of tell us about what that night meant to you uh you can just feel the the authenticity in that promo everything you you've overcome tell us a little bit about that that journey of getting back to that point yeah so uh, the last time i was in that building was like the lowest point in my life uh you know it was humiliating and to have a seizure uh from alcohol withdrawal in front of all those people and then you know, you have people posted on YouTube and people were taking videos and stuff. Uh, it was really, really low point. It was pretty, it was humiliating. So um, to go back there with a different mindset, you know, you know, being happy, healthy, sober, uh, and just with such a bigger appreciation for life and, and everything it has to offer. It was, it was just going back there in the mindset I'm in now that was really important to me. And it was just when I was there just thinking, man, the last time you were in this building, you were so unhappy, um, even before the seizure. So uh, it was nice. It was nice to go back how I am now. I mean, and I don't think it's uh, a stretch by any way of the term to say that you are 100% in the best shape of your life. You, you look incredible. My goodness, Shred City, buddy. <laughs> Would you say that your game is operating at the, the highest level you've ever had? Is that safe to say? Yeah, I'd say that I'm definitely doing the best work of my entire career, you know, inside the ring, outside the ring, promos, uh, everything that I'm doing now is the best I've ever done. Uh, and I think that that, you know, is a testament to my sobriety and also um, just the, the peace, the overwhelming peace that uh, I have right now in my life, which helps me perform better. But also I am working harder than I've ever worked in my life. There are points I look back now, like years ago, where I thought I was working really hard. I couldn't put in any more effort and uh now i look at those days and i'm like man you could have put in a lot more effort i gotta say my man i'm living vicariously through you for a couple of different reasons of course one i've talked recently about making my own return to the ring um after my struggles with with covid number yeah. two is watching you beat the crap out of my old tag partner oh. matt cardona every week <laughs> him and all of his goons ah. it's just uh he's always sticking his nose in my business matt cardona and uh he brings his boy myers with them he brings his girl his wife uh chelsea now um yeah it's been fun to, to beat the hell out of him and you know have good matches with him uh but yeah i i, I really really like uh Matt and uh I think me and him have done some really good work together. Um well yeah, getting in there and being able to beat the hell out of him and shine myself up at his expense is always fun. Uh I, I gotta say though, man, incredible story. But maybe the best part about this whole thing is that you didn't only take your journey to to better yourself, but you're using your story and everything you went through to help out just a lot of people out there, people that are that are strangers to you. You've really put yourself out there to make a difference in other people's lives through the the Heron Project. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and your involvement with them. Well, yeah, the Heron Project is an is a, a nonprofit uh, started by Chris Heron. He was in the NBA. You know, helps people with scholarships to to rehabs or sober living, and because there's a lot of people out there who can't afford that, you know to go to rehab, they can't afford, you know, an um, extra month of sober living. And that extra month of, of rehab, that extra 30 days or that extra month in sober living, that could be the difference between them getting sober and staying sober and them not being sober. And I think what, what the Heron Project is doing is, is incredible. And yeah, sharing my story. I mean, I, I feel like um, a lot of people don't like to share their story, especially, 
you know, if they suffer mental health issues or, you know, if they suffer from addiction, because the, um, there's there's a stigma that surrounds it. And I think that that doesn't help anybody. I think the way that you could help others who are going through the same thing is you got to be vocal about it if you want to be and um, try to help as many people as you can, because, you know, I, I keep if I was to keep that to myself, I feel like I'm not helping anybody else. I'd be helping myself. but I'm not helping anybody else. And I don't know. I, I feel like that would be a little bit selfish. That's that's just me. Well, nothing selfish about what you're doing right now, brother. You're on top of the world, um, firing at the top of your game in, in every category of life. I'm honored and proud to, to call you a friend. It's been incredible to watch your story. Thanks so much for joining us today, brother. I, I still got chills, man. I still got goosebumps over here. You're the man, baby. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I appreciate it.